All right, it is a big step forward in the effort to not only house the homeless, but to also help them move forward in a positive direction. Durham Place is located just off of South OBT in Orlando, and its very first residents are just now moving in. West Tuesday, McDaniel visited with one of those new residents and explains how the cooperative effort is intended to help people. Um, well, I was homeless for a while, um, and just life, um, unexpected things. Three years in the Marines, a new mom, and now the transition from part-time homelessness to a home. It means the world to me that I have this opportunity now. They've uh, put their life on the line for our country. The least thing that we can do is help them try to get into some type of permanent stable housing. About a quarter of the roughly 100 units at Durham Place will have veterans renting them. Move in just starting. These were all unsheltered homeless veterans. Um, we have 13 that have signed their leases. The complex offers much more than simply a roof over the family's head. It gives them a variety of services right here on site to give them a head start into the next chapter. We help them get into housing first, and then we start taking care of any of the other needs that they may need. So back to medical, maybe trying to uh, potentially find a job. The project is so new, the finishing touches are still being applied. Wendover Housing Partners, proud of its holistic approach. We provide the services to uh, job, uh, resume writing, uh, whatever they need to get them back on their feet. I'm hoping that I'll be able to start school now, that I have some stability um, and, you know, hopefully working soon. When you see them walk to the door and opening the door, seeing what's inside, it's just an amazing feeling. The goal is to build more than housing, but a community. It's nice to know that I'll have some support and um, just make some friends, hopefully. An afternoon delivery of holiday decorations, step one. In Orlando, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News. A similar supportive housing community, Worley Park, opened in Sanford more than three years ago, and it was developed by the very same group.